In this video, we're going to walk through an example CRG meeting. CRG stands for Collaborative Requirements Gathering. This is an example CRG meeting for the Safe Home Project that Pressman uses as a running example throughout his book. The Safe Home Project is intended to be a project that allows you to control your home from a computer or a mobile phone. For example, you might want to set your alarms or look at your security camera or turn on your air conditioning from your laptop. It's not a real project, it's fictitious, but it helps illustrate the different phases you go through in a major software development project. Okay, in this scenario, we're assuming that an initial inception meeting has already taken place. One of the stakeholders is tasked to write a two-page product request. In this case, let's assume that a marketing person from inside the company has already done this. They send it out to everyone who plans to attend the first CRG meeting. Each person who attends the meeting is asked to make a list of objects, services, constraints, and performance criteria for the product based on the two-page description. At the meeting, a combined list is created. And then the attendees break into groups that write mini specifications for each item. The specifications are then analyzed in the same way the product description was until you have all of your objects, services, constraints, and performance criteria. Suppose this is an excerpt from the two-page description that the marketing person wrote. Remember that we're looking for objects, services, constraints, and performance criteria. So let's do this now. Pause the video and come up with at least one object, at least one service, one constraint, and one performance criteria that you think the final product should have based on this description. Okay, let's see what Pressman came up with. For objects, we've got the control panel, smoke detectors, sensors, alarms, and so on. For services, we have configuring the system, setting the alarm, monitoring sensors, and so on. For these two features, objects and services, you may consider doing a grammatical parse of the description to start you off. That means you find all the nouns in the description and they become candidates for objects. Then you find all the verbs in the system and they become candidates for services. It doesn't mean there will be a one-to-one -one relationship between nouns and objects, for example, but it gives you a good place to start. Constraints and performance criteria may require a bit more thought. Here, some constraints are that the system should recognize when the sensors are not operating, the interface must be user-friendly, and the system should interface directly to a standard phone line. Some performance criteria might be that the sensor event should be recognized within one second, and that an event priority scheme should be implemented. Recall that the control panel was one of the objects in the list of objects. Therefore, a breakout group at the CRG meeting might be assigned to the control panel so that they can come up with a mini specification for it. Here's an example of such a specification. Eventually, this description would also be analyzed for objects, services, constraints, and performance criteria. And that concludes this brief video on CRG meetings. In the next video, we'll talk about the Safe Home project and look at an abbreviated version of Pressman's Safe Home scripts for chapters 1 through 5.